Okay, sorry guys, I'm just checking, yep, the audio is on. Hello guys, so it is me, Trent Taco. I just want to thank you for tuning in to my discussion out of everyone else's. And so today we're going to be discussing Ghost Island Episode 8. So pretty much the people, they merged in this episode. And they're called Navita. Okay. Um, and they have this challenge where they have like to stand on this plank. And they have to have their feet in a certain zone. And they're carrying this, like... I don't know how to explain it. It's like a pole thing with, like, an idol on it. Or some kind of statue. And if they let it drop, they're out. Or if they fall off the plank, they're out. And every five minutes or every so amount of minutes, they have to move down the plank where it gets narrower and narrower. So in this challenge, Kellen wins. And in this episode, it seems like Chris versus Dominic. They should just call this episode Chris versus Dominic. Because that's literally pretty much what all this is in this episode. Just because of a stupid thing that happened on day one. So, they're pretty much just convincing people, like, hey, Dominic has an idol. And Chris, once he gets his bandana, he looks at it and sees a um, a little, like, clue to an immunity idol. And pretty much, he sees this, like, thing in this basket. And he tells them that the idol is on Ghost Island. And he will have, but there's like a catch to it and he'll have to sneak out to Ghost Island in the middle of the night without getting caught. Because if he does, it could put his game at risk. And he gets the idol and he plans on extending it. And he can play a game where it can be extended for up to five weeks. Like, because he goes to Ghost Island and he gets the idol, but there's a catch to it. Like, it only has power for like a week. But the thing is, he can play a mini game and possibly extend the power of the idol. So he decides to go for it, and there's like these tin things, bamboo things, and he gets one, so he extends it for two weeks, but the next one he gets, he doesn't get a vote. So he goes back to camp, and he wasn't caught. But the thing is, he was so stupid. Like, at tribal council, they just literally voted... Well, obviously, they voted him because he was a big target. No votes were for Dominic, and he used his legacy advantage, which I think was kind of pointless. And one thing, one, a highlight in this episode that I thought was hilarious is when Wendell was like, wrote Chris's name down. He wrote Chris the rapper, and he's like, don't rap. You cannot rap. Put the pen down. Erase all of it. You cannot rap. Stop. And he like did it for like 20 seconds, 30 seconds going on about how he can't rap and it was hilarious. But anyways, Chris was obviously voted out. But um, yeah, he, I'm surprised he didn't use his idol because he had an idol and it was so obvious he was being sent home. So yeah. Um, anyways, I do, always do survivor discussions every Wednesday. So I really appreciate it if you tune into every single one of them. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please go to big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. Thank you for watching.